does this work? Okay. Today. Oof. Sorry about that. Uh, I have migraines sometimes. So, kind of having my right now. Uh, let me check a second. Alright, so today, like I said last time, I'm gonna be working on separating um, every item that I'm gonna have to make a model of. I did uh, one for the mage and for the thief, but I need to do one for the knight. So, on the side you can see PRF. My PRF uh, has new stuff in it. There is uh, images that I've gathered because I wanted to make sure that I got all the pieces that I want modeled. And well, night armors are very difficult. <laughs> so I just got. Uh, let me check if I can do this. Separation of how armor is made. Oh, this type of armor, anyway. Also, uh, different armor types, what they look like, how they're constructed. All fun stuff. This is uh, an assembled one from the game Skyrim. Well, actually, Sky Oblivion. This is Dwarven armor of Oblivion. More or less, this is what she's going to be wearing. Uh, some type of heavy fabric underneath padding. The big chest armor piece. Uh, this is, you see how this is like uh, covering one side. This is gonna be like on the middle. And this also helps me understand how the powder is gonna be set up. Yeah, interesting. All these shapes. Ooh, very bulky. Um. And I found images of Ragnarok online. Um, <laughs> her armor sets are so thin and skinny. But yeah, this is very similar to what I want, right? Uh, I want big pauldrons, a long shield, uh, her uh, little skirt thing. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, hers is going to be like, definitely shorter. Uh, this also helps me understand um, where the pieces of the armor are covering. I like, really like, I love this one. It's really good. Uh, yeah. I think hers is more akin to this than it is this, but at least with the shoulders over here. Yeah, uh, I'll start with that. Let me see where I can park this. It's just... I think these are okay. Ooh. Awesome. There you go. Hope you can listen to the song. No, oh, not again. Yeah. It's time to start. Night and where the color was. It's this one. I did. I might cheat a little bit. That's okay. Uh, the red knight. I'm gonna cheat. And grab this. Yeah, I'm gonna. 
it's gonna cheat a little bit. So these are gonna be... Might go this way. Only because I want uh, a cleaner version. I got random migraines uh, during the week. I've been nursing one since uh, practically since the last stream. Super interesting tidbit. I did um, send an email. Hopefully, it gets replied. And I want to stream a specific uh, game series. I want to do it properly, not just um, start streaming out of nowhere. It's a game series called, well, not called, but it's the, the Room game series, you know, the, the puzzle, um, first person puzzle. It's one of the first games I played in, in mobile that actually was interested in a mobile game, I mean, because I did play some other mobile games that were more of a... Uh, RPGs sort of deal. It uh, inspired me a lot to become a game artist. Um, let's see. There we go. It's 
So uh, this is the part where I'm gonna take a little look see my reference. I know that this is just um, this piece gets connected to the one in the back. It's kind of a weird set, like weird piece. Uh, let me check on the other one back here. So this one is just one piece. I don't know how that works. Um, doesn't seem like a possible set. But um, there might be two pieces. So let's go back to the construction piece. There are two pieces. So we're gonna have to get this one's the the front. We're gonna have to make two pieces of these then. And this one can definitely uh, have a motif there. Around it a little bit. Oof. All right. My migraines are like awful because one of the telltale signs of migraines for me, anyway, is that I start yawning uncontrollably. Uh, so if I start yawning, <laughs> Possibly is I'm not really tired, it's just my head having that reaction to the pain. Right. You know the fun part is that I'll do all of this and when a time to model comes. The models are gonna be so small in the game. Alright, I forgot that this was gonna be sort of over that I'm gonna protect some. Protects a little bit, right? Let me check if I actually wanna do that. This could be. maybe extended. So it's gonna be slate. Just want to make sure I understand that there's a a difference of uh, there you go. This is gonna be a different set. Yeah, I just want to show myself anyway that these are two faces, two planes, looking different size. So this one's looking up, this one's kind of looking down. Um, not for chest purposes or anything. Might just reduce a little bit of the, the angling. Like a little bit more like a piece. There you go. So we're gonna whoop, whoop, show a little bit. Uh, all right. So this is a middle piece. Right. Let
You're gonna like it like that. There's a strap somewhere, right? I think... And maybe the strap is over here. Not really a strap, but... This is maybe the powder room. Uh, anchor. Powder and anchor would be nice. That's what I call it. Probably not call that. Cauldron doesn't really show where it's connected, does it? Very strange. Is this where it's connected? Like here? I don't know. I was just to say. Uh, yeah, see, it's a lot, whole lot of padding. Interesting. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. This mega fantasy armor that may, may not make much sense. All right. So let's do the, the back side. I think this one's smoother. This side. Probably connected. Like behind this is probably the other side of the brooch thing. Connect them. There you go.
the guard thing. This is the actual chest plate. And it connects. Pretty bulky.
So let's see what colleges are gonna be. Du -du -du -du. It might be connected to this actually. Because you see, it has two straps going like that. I'm not sure it has anything to do with the PR armor here. It looks like it's connected to the pauldrons instead. Well, this one doesn't even show up. I don't even know. Uh, it might be connected to these pieces. Oh, I have to make a, a executive decision. <laughs> I think we can connect to this. Maybe some sort of screw. Let's let's make some fantasy here. Um, Simplified, Sense that it's very, very simplified. Maybe in the back, also. In the back, also needs to have some sort of anchor point, right? Because this is uh, pretty big, I think that sort of connection gets lost, but we'll see. Oh, I also need to make sure not the right type of corner thing here. Alright, let me get me some sippies.
Does Mac actually have some sort of system of cooking? And I don't think they'll be able to see it. Maybe the the mechanism to hook is big. Flat, and yeah, they're flat. Might be the same actually, but I, I really like this here part. Alright, uh, let's see. Oh, one that I actually remember. Oh, the helmet. Thank you. 
Go back to our... Where is it? There was. Oh, um, did I know? <gasps> I didn't. Uh oh. Okay, I thought I did, but apparently not. Alright. So I did have a, a ref before that has some sort of, um. I had the, the whole helmet, like, wrapping around her head. Um, but. Uh, I think I wanted, what I wanted to do was some sort of, uh, helmet that stops here. Like here, right? It stops. And what's underneath is, uh, the male. The, the male starch, maybe on here. Maybe like this. So it would be like male, a little bit of texture just to see, make the impression that it's male and not some sort of other material. Okay. I think the best idea would be to simplify these, make them bigger. Be visible from far away this way. I think anyway. I have to see when the time comes. Thank you. 
Looks a little like a Kamen Rider. <laughs> uh, there you go. Let's see if I can round it a little bit.
Vertically, two pieces. The little mast that's gonna be tied from inside. So, hmm, there's so many pieces here. Uh, we did the college round, the chest, back, the helmet, the little up the um, air rail thing. We need to do. Oh, we definitely need to do the round braces. Gauntlet. Uh, interesting. Okay, so the queer ass, quick queer ass. <laughs> it's the whole thing. Ah, this thing. Nice. All right, let's do. this right <laughs> I like this one version better what you think of that? all right so we'll look at our nice reference here the van brace is just a of these. And I have to make it like very simplified because gauntlets. I don't know if I want to give her gauntlets. Maybe. Good. Let's let's get her gauntlet. Sure, why not? I'll I'll reflect that on on the render and the turnaround. Because remember that this character is gonna have very. Minimal details, it's going to be a really small game. Extra paint can definitely fill that sort of thing.
Back up the man brace. And the wrist goes there. All right, it. We got that. Those two pieces. Just that way. Obviously, the the gloves. T-shirt, I guess. Just a straight T-shirt or dress. You can also call it a dress. The neck part, part of the neck. about it pair of band braces and the arm harness would be a good one too the arm harness is just kind of like the band brace just it's yeah 
I think this one goes tied to the quota. Oh, there. <laughs> uh, might be. Doesn't seem like it goes anywhere. But it could also maybe be attached. Sabatons and Greaves. Light harness. You know, I could make it a little bit cartoony, the leg harness anyway. Leg harness, I can make it a solid piece. See much. Uh... All right. Oh, it's one p.m. Ready? Let me just finish at least the uh, turn somewhere. No, we can go right. And after that, I'm gonna be doing concepts of the weapons. We're gonna spend that time. I don't know how long we're gonna take.
All right, so her saddle tongs are kind of like straight up. Just hide her ankle, I guess you could say. So like sheets of the shoes. <laughs> that makes any sense. So underneath these are her shoes, they're actual shoes. These just protect her feet, I guess you could say. It doesn't protect shoes, but you know, it's kind of a sheath. Alright. What have you got that? There's another, another two pieces. The missing, obviously, is the... little belt and I cannot really remember what this is called let's just call it a kilt or skirt <laughs> protective skirt so this is made of hard leather I know this so... I have a ref for that, so the reference is technically this. It also could be this. And this, these two. So now that we're looking at it right there. Things around actually. This uh is probably gonna make sense as a call, call out. Um check. Get rid of this. Here. And lower it up. Yeah, this is basically just a call out. <laughs> a call out sheet. Probably move this around a little bit too. In the meantime. Almost got everything. All right. Um. That's my ref. Now, anyway, uh, we have something to work with. Uh. I could just not do the full leg thing and just have it like she does. Um, so there is uh, some sort of action here, 
but uh, the skirt, the male skirt is probably going to do the heavy lifting. So, I don't know what this is called, I'm going to be honest. So, let's call it a protective skirt or something. Alright, so it will be top leather. Also, this one. Obviously the belt. Uh, pulls it together. It should have the emblem of the uh, Order, so I'm just going to make it vaguely similar.
That's a lot of pieces. Do, 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 do. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oof, that's a lot of pieces. Uh, 15 if I count separately uh, the pieces. That's not counting the character model, the, the human other shape. Hmm. Well, with this gathered, uh, and the call up done. Well, since the uh, materials are not going to be realistic, obviously, um, but there should be um, an amount of metallic or specularity, which I'm probably going to do. So this is the part where I get a little break. Um, and following after a break is a uh, constant part of the weapons, the shield, things like that. Alright, be right back. I'm gonna reset something too.
A. All right. Uh, still have a header, but let's see. Which one should we do first? Um, staffs. I, I'm not so sure about the staff, so I think I'm gonna do this one first. The mage is gonna get his new weapon now. Same height. And I did have the usual the pokey poke on one side. From here, the circular gate, I would say. Remember last time I was talking about he could use the the hole. To propel air, maybe. Maybe that's how he casts a tornado. He just uses the air. Wait a second. Okay, so let's think about it from the top now. So, maybe this actually turns like this. Now it's like a, a little tornado. Top looks very interesting.
Kind of like that. A little bit. Right? Alright. Um make sure that we got the proper weight. Could be a call back to uh, his original one. See how I got <laughs> a ref <laughs> with a bunch of stuff. So this could be a call up for that one. Early at night, just cut the stream because I have a awful headache. But uh, I don't want to rush it. I'm gonna take my time, but only if like if I finish early, then because I have uh, specific things that I do and I have planned every stream. So if I make it, <laughs> I'll I'll excuse myself. Um, there you go. Hey, gotta like it. Just remember, I gotta remember that the shape needs to be readable from like a mile away. <laughs> this one but instead of going down I do the same thing as this one I just it goes up we're keeping that little tornado motif Since we're at it, uh, could add a little feather as well. Ah, 
giant feather, maybe. A feather could be... from a... bird of prey, maybe. It's a chime. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's a chime. Oh, a chime thing. First one kind of makes him look like he comes from some sort of mage, uh, mage academy or something. Look very, very sophisticated. This one. Uh, this one looks very rudimentary. Mm hmm. Oh, because the air it just go like this, right? And it goes through. it blasts a tornado or something. I'm gonna turn these around a little bit. This one, right? All right.
Alright, I mean, I actually really like this one. Like the first one... The first one was pretty good, this okay as well. This one. I really like the rustic like look of it. Take this one. Pasta. Round.
Speaking of, I do want to do something. So the characters are now going to blow up this one. I do want to test if I can make a cutie, even a cuter version of it.
I think uh, something like this to me. Good thing.
So, it'd be kind of like that. Now, let us make a little shape test. Let's see. This works. I'll have to paint it over. Yep, I'll paint it over. That's um, mm -hmm. this but just try to bring it back Thank you. 
Alright, we're gonna, uh, oh, it's been, been almost an hour, right? I don't even remember what last week. <laughs> a second, let me just try to fix something.
prepare for the battle and that still hurts. Uh It'd be fun to see it. Uh, the chibi character just <laughs> destroying everything. I think that's more or less. I'm gonna save the night for last, cause she has way too much things going on. Um, the next one's gonna be this guy. I could do something else here. Maybe the backside. Actually. Before I move on, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. I think we got everything, really. Cheat sheet. Just copy. Oops. Copy paste. I'm gonna be transform uh, flip. Cheat to make things easier, and at least in the pre production stage, that's better.
how is it important to do both sides so whoever picks up the character sheet can say oh that's how it is As if you, you do mine, they change all over the place. But yeah.
uh, fine. There we go. I'm gonna take a little break now. Time is up. Um, I think it was pretty good. Got most of what we need. The items on my eyes of my enemy just going whack. <laughs> Wait a second. There you go. Um. Yeah, every piece that we need here. The wardrobe. Oh wait, we need a ocarina. Dang, I forgot about that. <laughs> Bad. Well, um, we might need to replace the feather with the ocarina. I'm gonna be completely honest. Because uh, the feather and uh, the piccolo thing are gonna be competing. Mm. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself a little note.
Hey, welcome back. All right. We're done with uh, Mr. Windmage. Uh, I think we have everything we need uh, to construct the models. Obviously, this is not a construction sheet, but for this, you can make a construction sheet easy. If we have time today, we might just start constructions, but I think I would rather uh, have an entire day for that. So next one on the list is this little guy. Let me save that. Alright. We have most of everything, right? A shawl, uh, ringlets, wristbands. Uh, we can honestly, we can just make it ringlets. Honestly, be a little bit creative with that. Let that get bigger, maybe.
My pants are fine. Uh, yeah, the cow shawl. Um, let me think. Maybe exaggerating how big the little beads are kind of help. Maybe. Heavy though. Not sure about that. We'll see. And the knives, I think we might go for the knives instead. I think that's all we really need. for the knives. So, these are really, really, uh, normal looking. And since this is a fantasy, I might go for... Maybe something with shape? That's just ridiculous, like a flamber, a merge. Could be. Could also be Qatar's, now that I think about it. Not or called Chakrams. Ooh, track runs will be absolutely beast.
This doesn't make much sense, is it? <laughs> we need like a stable in the middle, I think. Maybe the handle could be outside. Like, it could be a stable in the middle.
I think the, the side ones are pretty good. He, he would cut himself if he used this, I can be really honest. <laughs>
consistent so
、これなのに人がってなのに、まだそって。
Alright, now I'm to the right.
Bye. What's up? Alright, we're gonna finish the thief and continue the mage. Sorry, not the mage. Continue with the knight. There you go. What's up? Uh, I'm finishing uh, proportions of the uh, thief. Like in game, they're gonna look like this, right? Cause, cause they're very gonna be very small. It's it's um it's an arena game. <laughs> Unless we want to make it like smite, I don't I don't think that's a good idea. But we can do it. <laughs> uh. But yeah, they're gonna be this proportion, like chibi chibi. Is it? This is just to showcase what they look like. That's it. And I did a bunch of uh, weapons. I chose this weapon because it's really sweet, kind of sleek, like him. So yeah, I'm just uh, doing this part, and then the knight. Also finished the knight, did the mage, little mage dude is very cute. Alright, I'm gonna continue the Mr. Thief. Alright, so um, his chibi, so his... Um, hoodie is gonna be a lot bigger. <laughs> Change this a little bit. Do you remember where I put that? Oh, okay, so it's not. Yeah, it kind of gotta be down. I think it should be a lot lower. I think so anyway. They can actually...
There you go. All right. Right, so now the booty. Might repeat that motif here.
All right, uh, we can, I think we're done with this uh, thief anyway. I'll, uh, later I'll, I'll scuttle all the items about and arrange everything. Arrange everything and make it more presentable. He doesn't have that much stuff, so. So she doesn't really have a weapon, she has a shield.
Tapi empat mosquito. I think I need to make more because I don't really like it.
I'm gonna like this one.
Para Adam.
The same as before. Uh, did I save that? I don't think so.
here back as 15 minutes. Thank you. 
We're back. Uh, all right. We need to finish her on the back side and the little silhouette, and we're done with these. That was a lot of work. So cute. Reminds me of, uh, wait, was it, uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air? I have, like, was the weird furka and the baggy pants. I think I remember that, so. Or this MC Hammer, one of them. And he dances, so, I mean. Yeah, I think, okay, I think we did it pretty well. Alright, let's finish. The crazy stuff. I have to reset her. I don't know, maybe half an hour. <laughs>
Yep, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna say where this is gonna be. Ooh, race. Oh, I'm falling asleep. Uh, okay, let's get rid of the uh, thingy here so you can see what's up.
Hai No That's about it Right Hey Hi Yeah so I have everything needed to just make the constructions for tomorrow oh <laughs> the animation is going crazy uh yeah the animation is kind of silly right now all right yeah i have everything for tomorrow uh tomorrow i'll just uh create uh, the construction sheets so they can be and modeled and animated easier but yeah, that was a lot of work. Everything is cool. There's the chibis. There's the weapons. I'll probably label these uh, after um, to make them more have more sense. And that's it. All right. Got it just in time. Almost six. All right. Uh. See you. <laughs> Bye.